Hello everyone, I'm Silent Death, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Space Engineers, episode 17. As you can see, we have our garage all set up here to start outputting, mass producing the SAM launchers and the SAM radar that we built last episode. So we will just... What do you want, Hinchy? What is it? Well, yeah. I did say we were going to do that, didn't I? Hmm. Well, as Hinchy has reminded me, back when we finished off this garage, I said we would uh, change the little piston press, welder press, stamp a factory, what are we going to call this? The projector stamper? I don't know what to call it. We'll come up with some name. But we're going to change this to automatically uh, stop what it's doing if it runs out of components. Um, I think we can do that. I do believe that we can do that. But first, we have to do something else. Okay, Hintry, you're done. You can go back to your corner. Go think about what you've done. Alright, we are over here at our little programming area. And if you missed the episode, when we set up the garage, we set up one of these programmable LCD, automatic configurable LCD panels that shows the missing components by giving it this command here. Now what we want to do is add in modded components. So what we need to do is we need to edit this script we come down here right at line 180 it says modded items and we can add in the things that we need this is already here except for it's set to false you need to change that to true and then we add in the shield components the tiered hydrogen tier deficiency hydrogen components which is the large hydrogen injector and the hydrogen efficiency injector. Then for the tiered ion thrusters and the tiered armor thrusters, we have the advanced thrust module. And if you want to just copy and paste this straight into your thing, you can do that or just look at this and type it out. You have, I had to look up these names and you probably don't want to do that. So you can uh, straight up just pause the recording and type this into your own script if you're using the same mods. So, we've got these two things. We've got the shield components. We've got the hydrogen thrusters. We're not using either of these, like ever, I don't think. And I don't plan on using any of these. I may use these at some point. But I'm not going to be doing that anytime soon. They're pretty expensive. Now that we've done that. We need to set up a shutoff for our welders and everything. So they'll automatically stop when we run out of components while we're welding something. Most of the heavy lifting is done by this LCD script. Come over here. Ouch. We'll see, it already shows us all of our missing components. A few things I'm not going to really be worried about. So I'm going to get rid of them. 
We've already gotten rid of some of the things. So let's go with... I'm not sure if this is going to be good enough. I might have to type the whole name. I hope not. But apparently I do. Okay. So supercharger. There you guys that. What's the other names? Um, pretty sure that one's just advanced thrust. Oops. thrust. If I can spell, which apparently I can't. Right, so yeah, that's all we wanted to get rid of anyway. That's good. That way I didn't have to look at the names. Okay. We've got that part done. Ooh, ouch. That hurt. So now we have a script here. That is the automatic garage shut off. And I've already written a set of instructions, which we're going to follow. So, first we set a programming block with this script. We create a timer that triggers this programming block and is set to trigger now itself. Okay, so timer. This timer isn't being used for anything. So I'll say this timer block. No, we'll just say timer block per frame, aren't you? Per frame. Then set up actions. trigger now then the other thing run you with the default argument next step turn this programming block on when you turn on your welders I add it to the same group as our welders So our welders are off. Garage welders. There we go. Let's just search for garage. That'll work easier. Garage welders. Go ahead and add that. Save. There we go. Now that if we select everything. want to make sure that these are still selected yes good perfect awesome then create a timer set to stop your 3d printer turn off the welders pistons rotors etc okay so Emergency stop is the name of that timer. Groups. Garage welders. Turn those off. Inchy batteries, shields. Pistons, I'm looking for pistons. May not be a uh, group. I think there's only one, isn't there? Garage piston, yeah. So toggle you off. There we go. Next step is not to do that. 
it is name the timer emergency stop. We did that. We set up the configurable automatic LCD with the right argument. We've named it to the missing components, gave it its argument, and I guess that's everything we need to do. So now, if while we're welding something and we run out of any kind of components, and I'm going the wrong way, the welders will automatically stop. I haven't made it turn them back on when you made the components because that's quite a bit more work. The way it does this is actually really simple. And I guess I could have shown that while I was up here. So all it does is it checks the length of the string versus the last length. And if this is longer, then it will trigger that shutoff timer. And that's pretty much it. Really, really simple and efficient. And it will save us a huge amount of headaches and stuff. Now over here, there's something else I want to add. If I can fit it in. Ow. I'm guessing right here, I want to put in, no, no, can do that, or can I? No, not there. I don't want to have to move that chair because I have all the things set up on it. Maybe we'll just put it here. Assuming I can. And I can't. Okay. Not enough room there either. I want to put a cargo container around here somewhere. This looks like the closest I can do it then. And I'm just going to have this set up so that I'll have the a few steel plates so that I can build little things like this. But all we need to do is add in a couple of these. On the ends here. And then a small cargo container. And I probably don't have one of these. Come on, G-Menu. Wake up. There we go. Some more cargo. Right in there. And then I can weld all these up. And we can get welding. Quick little weld there. Now... Put this... Whoops. That's not what I wanted to do. Stick a name in here. Steel plates. Ten should be enough. We'll make that priority two. Do we have? There we go. So now then, when I need it to build a few things like this, it will work and stuff. And now then, let's create a whole bunch of lag by turning on all of our welders. I love watching this thing work. I guess we can sit in our chair. Not the fastest thing in the world, but that's fine. We don't want it to be too fast or risk snapping things off. Hopefully I didn't make that too high. Apparently not. And here comes all the lag. Hopefully it gets the wheels. Looks like it did. Ah, oh, it looks like it has the same problem that I had when I was using my welding ship. They have difficulty placing the actual wheel parts. So we'll have to manually add those. 
But other than that, it seems to be working. No problems with components. I'm not expecting any. But if I do run out, we know what will happen. Now I can weld up a few of our, weld up, I guess, our complete sound battery and be back in a moment. Oh, look, we ran out of bulletproof glass. Thankfully, we have a program that stopped all of our welders part of the way through. See? Stopped what it was doing. And then we can make some more bulletproof glass. Don't crash. Let's see. Production. Make a whole bunch of that. We have tons of silicon. Now what we probably need is a button somewhere to turn this back on. Home. Oh. Don't really have anywhere to put one, do we? Okay, put one there. Put one kind of up here, but that's not a really good spot. Mmm. Can't put one there, can't put one there. Can put one on the other side? No, we couldn't. Um, I guess maybe we could try to fit another pedestal somewhere. The wall is killing me again. Okay, good. We can fit a pedestal right here. And we'll use that to turn back on everything. Back to welding. Hi, you're back. I was just... <clears throat> How long have you been standing there? We have finished building our entire sim battery. Got them parked just outside. Where we're waiting to place them. By the way, these should be now up on the workshop. The arms mod has updated. I did notice one little bug that I need to fix, but I should have that fixed before I upload this episode or before it gets uploaded. So yes, those are now on the workshop and if I don't have any problems with the demonstration world that I showed last episode, you can see that too. By the way, this little automatic shut off script was fantastic. It just makes things so much easier, especially with the horrible frame rate that you get from having so many welders. Having it automatically shut off when it first notices something was a godsend. It really was. And that script is going to be up on the workshop as well. In fact, we're going to do that right now. And that is not how you do that. Programming block, automatic grud, shut off. We're going to edit the script. We're going to browse the workshop. Create from editor. 
rename it and I'm going to call this the automatic 3D shut off that way you'll know what to search for I published that I think I have to go back into the details don't I There you go. So that is now on the workshop for you. And again, the instructions are right there. You can do whatever you want with that. I hope you find it as half as useful as I did. Now then, let's get through, get out of all this stuff. Ooh, that was a nice color for the garage projector. I haven't seen that color before in the little gooey okay what else do we want to do right we need to go back well fine we'll do it this way you know platform I, we should rename this I'm going to be a little bit traditional and we're just going to call this <laughs> we're going to call it ladding 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 no we're going to call it landing base the city of landing as that is featured in a great many sci-fi novels and I do like to read my sci-fi novels currently rereading the destroyer man series if you haven't read that that's pretty interesting okay we want to go to the garage projector blueprints and our goal it is time for the goal to take flight I went and I mined a little bit of ice. I actually went to go get some magnesium and by the time I got through the ice, I was full. So I guess I guess I mined some ice. Okay, thank you for telling me that like five minutes too late. And here's a good thing. You can use proje uh, not projectors but spectators for. Use that to help line up stuff. That's what I've been doing. Let's see. Let's forward. Nope. Is that too high? How many blocks are in there? I can't really tell. No, that looks lined up. Yes, yeah, so there's the landing gear. I guess I could slow down the speed on this. By the way, you can use a, the mouse scroll wheel to slow down the speed for your spectator guy. I did not know that until quite recently. I think that looks pretty good. So we will weld this up, which again, terrible lag. So we're not going to share that. Or we might. I guess I could do a time lapse. I've been using my little welder ship over there, the hydrogen welder, to lift those rivers after I get them welded. And that is just, it's actually quite surprising. This little guy can have a cargo capacity of, what is it, 350-ish metric tons. That is just whoa. It actually can lift more weight than that and has a much higher cargo something like three times as much cargo so yeah this guy is just fantastic it does burn through the fuel like a lot that's why I needed to go mining because I used up all the ice just carrying those guys out but yep we will do this hopefully these don't fall off. I noticed a problem when I was welding the sand launchers is this little one by one merge blocks when you weld them they don't attach right away. They take a second so in a gravity wheel like this they were kind of just falling down to the ground and I had to like manually cut them out and grind up all the loose merge blocks and then redo it. 
a little bit strange. I'm not sure if that's a problem with the game or if it's a problem with these merge blocks themselves. But something to be aware of when you're doing uh, those uh, sand launchers yourselves. If you have a type of 3D printer, you might want to do it in low gravity or zero gravity. Let do that. All right. We'll weld this up. And there's one more thing I want to do this episode. We're not going to get to launch this because we don't have enough time today. We'll be doing that next episode. But I do want to do something over here. So let me get this welded up and I will be back in a moment. Oh, by the way, we have gotten our solar circle fully built. We used up just crap tons of power recharging all of the batteries for all that stuff. So I had to finish welding those up. I had just been lazy and had not done that last part. All I, all I needed was some solar cells. And I had them built, I just hadn't carried them over there and welded them. Be right back. There you just saw the automatic shutoff script in action. That was sped up 20 times, but every time the welders are flickered off, that was me stopping the recording and having to go produce some components as the automatic shutoff had kicked in and turned off the welders and the piston, because that's what it does. I had wanted to do a little bit more of this episode, but we are in fact out of time. Next episode, I'm not quite sure what we're going to do. I had wanted to take the goal out and do some scouting, but they have introduced a bug in the latest patch that prevents me from being able to load my Let's Play Survival World. So maybe we'll end up doing something in creative. But that is it for this episode. Like if you like. Subscribe if you're not. Leave a comment if you have anything to say. I do read all the comments. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.